These germicidal UVC lamps are more popular now than ever for obvious reasons. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief explanation of how they work, what they're good for, go over the pros and cons and the risks, and whether or not I think they're worth buying. Long before the world became a dystopian nightmare that only Christian Bale and three tubs of Brill Cream could save us from, I bought this bulb for a completely different reason to what people are desperately trying to buy them for now. It had nothing to do with viruses, toilet paper, or Gal Gadot saving the world through song. I bought it because my basement sprung a leak, and that left a damp, mouldy smell that I wanted to get rid of. This fairly inexpensive device emits ultraviolet light, and a lot of it falls within a small section of the electromagnetic spectrum we call UVC. The wonderful thing about UVC is that it's very damaging to germs, bacteria, and tiny little invisible monsters that can ruin your day. It can also kill viruses. I say kill, but viruses aren't really technically alive. But they are made up of DNA and RNA, and both of those are quite easily broken apart by exposure to UVC. So, at a reasonably close range, say in a small room for example, these lamps are very effective at killing viruses that remain on surfaces. The trouble is, humans also happen to have a fair amount of DNA and RNA, and that's where the danger lies. This is only a 25 watt bulb, but it produces such a high intensity of UVC that it can start to damage skin in a matter of seconds. A few minutes of exposure at close range will result in sunburn, and repeated exposure can eventually cause skin cancer. There's no tanning with these bulbs, only burning. The eyes are another very vulnerable part of the body, as just a few seconds of looking directly at the light can damage cells on the surface of the cornea. I've experienced this myself when arc welding some metal parts together as a kid. The arc emits a flash of UVC in just a few quick welds without a welder's mask, and it was in the top three most painful experiences of my life so far. So if you're going to buy one of these, you need to keep your skin and eye exposure to the absolute minimum. I wore one of these when I was making this video, and I only turned the bulb on for a few seconds at a time. Another risk or benefit, depending on how you look at it, is that one side effect of emitting strong UVC in air is the production of ozone. Some bulbs have a coating on the crystal tube that blocks the wavelength that produces ozone, but I went for the bulb that has no coating because I actually wanted that effect. So how do you tell them apart? Well, you can smell it. If you've ever smelled the air after a lightning storm and noticed a very distinct scent, like a fresh, sterile, almost bleached smell, that's ozone. The benefit of ozone is that it's moderately good at killing germs, and because it floats around in the air, it can reach places that the UVC light can't. It's also very good at eliminating odors, but it's a highly unstable molecule and it will oxidize any organic material it comes into contact with. So it can do pretty nasty things to the sinuses and the lungs with prolonged exposure. When I use this, I leave the room and I open some windows to air the place out afterwards. Fortunately, being so unstable, it dissipates or breaks back down into oxygen pretty quickly. So is it a good idea to buy one of these things? Well, I think it's a really useful tool to have and I'm glad I've got it, especially right now. It's inexpensive and it really does work for disinfecting surfaces and getting rid of stinky smells in the basement. You just have to be extremely careful not to expose people or pets to the light and avoid breathing in the ozone that it produces. And keep in mind that if you use it a lot, over time it can fade artwork and turn some plastics yellow. I'll leave a link to the one I have if you want to check it out, as well as the one I wish I'd bought because it comes with a remote control which would have saved me from having to do this every time I use it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.